In a previous video, we looked at creating a hardware profile. We can also create a guest OS profile. So in our library profiles, we have guest OS profiles here. So I'm going to right click and create a new guest OS profile. So I'm going to name this one Windows 10 Workstation. And this is a standard Windows, capitalized Windows 10 deployment. Okay, and it's compatible with Windows. And then I can choose, you know, Windows, Linux, Shielded, Unshielded. So let me go to my guest OS profile, and here's where I can set things. Now, this is currently set for Windows Server 2019. I want to go ahead and walk you through it because there are some things here that uh, we want to see. We can choose and adjust which uh, operating system we want. So uh, Windows 10, Windows Server, uh, Azure Stack, Windows 7, more Windows Server. You'll notice there's no Linux stuff on here. So we have the operating system, we have the identity, and so we can set a name, which honestly wouldn't make much sense if we're going to deploy this over and over and over again. But if we use the asterisk, it'll randomly generate one. We'll just need to change it. We can predefine an admin password. So we can specify here, this is what I want my admin password to be. It'll automatically put that in. We can predefine a product key. Or we can say the product he's provided in the answer file. We can set a time zone. We can set, and this is why I wanted to leave it with server. We can set roles and features. So we can define what roles and features we want in this particular server. We can set that whether we want it to be domain joined or as part of a work group. And then we can specify an answer file and a run once command to be ran after the system boots for the first time. Now, when I change this from Windows Server 2019 to Windows 10, if we can get to Windows 10, 64-bit edition of Windows 10, um, you'll notice my roles and features now say none because those aren't used with this particular thing. So I'm going to go ahead and set an admin password here. And I think that's all I'm going to want to set for this one. So I'm going to click OK. For the local administrator. Let me see if I mistyped that. Oh, duh. Helps if you read the messages. Please provide a valid username other than the built in administrator account and then try this operation again. So let's do support services and then yes okay there we go and now we have a, a guest os profile so we've created a hardware profile and now a guest os profile and we can create multiple ones right so we can do this for a variety of different environments for a variety of different operating systems, uh, both hardware and guest OS profiles. So and that gives us a lot of flexibility then to combine those predefined hardware and guest OS profiles and quickly deploy virtual machines.